What is good, the YouTube, and welcome to Tano. In this video, I will show you the most important and must have mods you need in your account to create either beginners or end game meta builds. Now, this will include Warframe, primary, and secondary mods. The companions are guns and Necromax Railjack will be for another video. Let's go. And starting first with the Warframe mods. Everyone knows that Vitality you start the game with, then you're going to have the normal Vitality and then you're going to upgrade it to Umbral Vitality. Now the Archon Vitality you get it from the Veil Breaker calls uh, Garrison uh, and it is very optional to have as goes for very specific builds. And then you want to have the Vigor for shield capacity and health and then you upgrade it to the Primed Vigor afterwards. And then you got the redirection and you want to upgrade it to the prime redirection afterwards. It's a huge, huge, huge increase by 80%. Fast deflection. Shield recharge and minus shield recharge delay. If you watch my Hildren video, you already know how powerful this fast deflection is. And fortitude. Fortitude will give you 100% shield recharge, but not the charge delay. It's very optional, but it's good to have. And for the next one, we got the Vigilante Vigor and we still on shields. 60% shield recharge and minus 30% shield recharge delay and 25% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons when you have the Vigilante set on your companion. And one of the most important mods in the game, you can get them only by logging rewards 400. It's primed sure-footed to resist knockdown as it prevents you from getting in the floor, enemies to get an advantage and kill you, and you can also resist knockdowns from weapons. Rolling Guard, or we call it the Endurance Run mod, to make you invulnerable and remove all the negative status on you. And of course, you don't speak of Rolling Guard without speaking about Adaptation, to resist all the incoming damage types and makes you tanky. And we all know that armor is really bad in Warframe, but there is a lot of Warframes like Rhino benefit from this armor, so Umbral Fiber is a must-have as well. And if you're starting the game, you can just run the Steel Fiber and you upgrade it afterwards. And now let's talk about ability efficiency with fleeting expertise is going to give you ability efficiency but at the cost of ability duration. And when we speak about efficiency we can talk about the streamline one of the best efficiency mods without any downside. And now for the range overextend ability range and minus strength. I know the strength is scary but you can fix it with different mods so it's must have. Ogre reach for range and Converting energy to shields, stretch for ability range, and it have the Archon stretch version, which abilities that deal electricity damage restore to energy over five seconds comes very good in different warframes. For example, Vault. And now let's talk about continuity, the ability duration. You're going to start with this one, and then you want to upgrade it to the Prime Continuity, one of the most used, uh, like mods in the game. It has uh, the Archon Continuity uh, version, which means 55% ability duration. Abilities that inflict toxin statue effect will apply corrosive statue effect. You can create crazy builds with this one. And when we speak about continuity, we cannot speak about a flow. You're going to start with this mod that you need to have, and then you want to upgrade it to the Primed Flow. Now, Primed Flow become very popular as the Emerald critical damage for melee weapons require you have 500 and more energy. So, Primed Flow, mamma mia. And it have the Archon version. Energy max, and enemies killed by cold abilities have 10% chance to uh, drop an energy orb. Cool down 10 seconds, uh, Gauss baby. Or Frost, so I don't uh, blame the guy. And we have the narrow minded high ability duration with negative ability range for warframes doesn't care about range but want high duration like ash ogre message for duration and energy to shields equilibrium health pickup will give energy and energy will give health for warframes that energy hungry blind range rage for ability strength and minus ability efficiency it's fixable later on with different mods vigorous swap on equip 165 percent damage for three seconds especially for eidolons and running the profit taker later on in your game now let's talk about strength intensify ability strength and then you want to have the umbral intensify and 99 percent of your gameplay will be with this one on any warframe require strength the archon intensify version you don't really want it because there is like no reason you want to have it to be honest and still the umbral intensify is superior 
And now we have the transient fortitude, ability strength, and minus ability duration. And we have the hunter adrenaline convert 45% of damage on health to energy, especially goes uh, good with Nidus, for example, or Inaros, and uh, so on. Also, the companion damage on enemies affected by Slash will be increased by 25%. Now, for the auras, we have Loot Detector. Minimap will show loot crates, and squad will receive plus 30 loot radar. Very, very helpful. Brief Respite, one of the best auras. On ability cast, squad converts 150 of energy spent to shields while overshields are inactive. Corrosive Projection, enemies will lose 18% of armor in many Warframe cases. This will reach the part where you can make the enemies lose 100% and totally armor strip. Energy Siphon, it lost its uh, glory when like uh, the new Archon Shards came, but still it's very good. The squad receives 0.6 energy regen, very awesome uh, aura. And power donation. You lose 30% ability strength. Squad gain 30% ability strength. This one is like made specially probably for Nova to speed up enemies. Steel charge, of course. Nova, who, who doesn't know this one? Squad receives 60% melee damage, including yourself. Also with ready steel uh, whispers in the wall, a new aura to give uh, 24 initial combo, which is two uh, combo multipliers, especially for glaives, benefit a lot from this one. And of course, the growing power. On statue effect with weapons, squad increase personal ability strength by 25% for 6 seconds. And combat discipline. You lose 10 health on kill, squad mates gain 20 health on kill. This made especially for the Arcane Avenger, but you don't want to run it like uh, maxed out. You want to run it something like this. Uh, just 2 dots uh, out of 5 will be perfect. As uh, this mode can kill you. And the lovers of sniping and Eidolons and so on. Uh, squad receive 52% uh, uh, sniper rifle damage. I love this mode. Pistol Amp, of course, uh, squad receive 27% pistol damage. Rifle Amp, for rifles to receive 27% rifle damage as well. And of course, it have the shotgun version, which increases 18% shotgun damage. I don't know why not more. And if you don't like any of that, you can go for the Hoster Amp. Uh, squad gains 60% weapon damage for 3 seconds uh, when you Hoster. And Physique, to increase your maximum health. Glaive lovers know this, the swift momentum squad receive 30% heavy attack wind up speed for 6 seconds, melee combo durations and colervo uh, mains, already know how it's, this works. Where is my speedsters? Squad receive a 15% sprint boost, Vault Gauss, Grandel, you name it, this one is really good. Preparations, you're gonna be with 100% maximum energy field on spawn, very helpful in many 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 cases. And Coaction Drift, one of the best uh, Exilus uh, slot. Uh, squad benefits 15% uh, more from auras. You benefit an additional 15% from auras. Uh, all of them. And if you're lacking a bit of the range, you can always run Cunning Drift. Vigilante Pursuit, very awesome uh, Exilus uh, slot. 30 meter enemy radar and enhance uh, critical hits from primary weapons. You want uh, some strength and resist uh, knockdowns? Power Drift is a must have. And if you're going for loot, this sweet uh, minimap shows loot crates uh, plus 42 meter loot radar, mamma mia. And now let's talk about uh, melee mods. You're going to start your game with pressure point. We all love it. We started the game with it. And then you're going to upgrade it to a primed pressure point, And that's what you're going to be using for the rest of the journey in Warframe. But if there is something called sacrificial pressure, you don't want to max it out as primed pressure point is way superior. And there is mods called the multiplicative faction mods, means they will increase your damage against specific faction. Well, you will need these when you pass enemies more than like five, level 500 and more. So I highly recommend not to level these, but you can use them of course. And if you really insist, you can level them. But you can have the Primate version of them, Primate Smite Corpus, and then you can have the Primate Smite Grenier and the Primate Smite uh, Corrupted and the Primate Smite and Fested. Okay, now, Smite of the Murmur exists now in the game as the normal version, but there is no Primate, but the moment it, it's there, you already know what to do, you need to get it. So these mods, more of end game, and the Primate Smite, the Murmur, when it gets released as well. But they are a must have, so think about it. And keep in mind, you need to have them. And one of the most powerful mods uh, that you will encounter in Warframe, Sacrificial Steel. Increase critical chance and two times for the heavy attacks, uh, but you will start with the true uh, steel. You can max it out as a start, and then you want to focus on maxing out this Sacrificial Steel. Gladiator, Gladiator, I hope you watched the movie. Gladiator might to increase critical damage 
and melee critical chance per combo multiplier and they stack like the more gladiator set you have the more critical chance per combo multiplier you will but you want to have the gladiator might and gladiator vice one increase critical damage one increase attack speed and now for the organ shutter like 90 percent of builds need this one but some of them will be required to use the amalgam organ shutter for the heavy attack wind up speed many 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 weapons benefit from this especially especially the glaives so having them both it's a very powerful uh, boost and now for the flat elemental damage we have the milton impact for heat fever strike for toxin uh, shocking the attach for electricity and north wind for cold and you want as soon as you can get your hand on the primate fever strike you you change the normal one to the primate version uh, as it's a very very huge boost and this mod is always a must have and there is mods called 6060 in Warframe. Voltaic Strike, Electricity and Statue Chance, Vicious Frost, Cold and Statue Chance, Volta Volcanic Edge for Heat and Statue Chance, and Virulent Scourge for Toxin and Statue Chance. The E decided to do them a bit different when it comes to the Murmur uh, Whispers in the Wall. They gave us the Focus Energy for Heavy Attack Efficiency and Electricity, and for uh, the Focus Radion or Radiation and Heavy Attack uh, Efficiency. And you will be using these mods to create a very powerful combinations like Viral, Corrosive, Gas, you name it. Now, the melee prowess, 90% statue chance, very good to test builds with and understand how much the weapon want from you as statue chance. Reach for 1.5 range and you can upgrade it to the primer that reach for range. Like 90% of weapons love range, so if you find like an empty gap where you can throw a mod, primer reach is the way to go. Now let's talk about uh, attack speed, uh, quickening baby, and gives you the melee combo a chance. Very amazing and powerful, one of the best attack speed mods. The Berserker Fury on kill, 35% attack speed for 10 seconds, or you want to run the Primed Fury, but you need to have them both, depends on the weapon and the situation. And what you want to decide, a flat attack speed or the on kill attack speed, but of course uh, you need always to remember quickening exists. So having them all three is a huge advantage. You see these three modes right here on the screen, Condition, Blood Rush, and we this is like not a must have. Like if you don't have them, you're playing wrong. These weapons, not the weapons, these mods must must have 1000 million years ahead. Okay, Condition Overload, uh, melee damage per statue type affecting the target, Blood Rush, critical chance, stacks with combo multiplier, Whipping Wound, statue chance per combo multiplier. If you don't have these three mods, stop the video here, go get them and come back. One of the most amazing mods for your glaive. 120% melee damage on heavy attacks and 60% heavy attack wind up speed, a must have for your glaives. Shattering impact. Impact damage reduce enemy armor by 6. Vasty lock or strofa. Mamma mia. So many bullets can totally armor strip enemies in 0 second. Corrupt charge for initial combo. 2. Combo multiplier, seismic wave, wave for melee slam damage, boss kill to increase the slash, and carnis uh, moneyball for slash and statue chance, and killing an enemy with a heavy attack reduces enemy accuracy against Warframe by 10% and grants immunity to statue effect for 2 seconds. Dreamer's Wrath to activate your Tenokai and increase window by 50% and critical damage by 32% for Tenokai attacks. And now let's do pistols, baby! Starting with Ornate Strike, 220% damage, this one you need to have it 100%. Synth Charge, 200% bonus damage on final shot requires magazine 6 or higher. Hostering primary and secondary weapons reload 10% of magazine. So this is very situation Synth Charge mod to have, but it's very good and a must have. Now let's talk about the faction multiplicative damage. Alright, Expel Corpus, Expel Grenier, Expel Corrupted, Expel Infested. By now you already know they have the uh, Primate version. For example, ex uh, pr Primate Expel Corpus, uh, Primate Expel Corrupted, Primate Expel Grenier, and Primate Expel uh, Infested. Okay, you get that point. Go, there you go. Now, Expel uh, uh, the Murmur, only the normal version now. When it comes to Prime, you already know what to have to do, but you need to have them 100%. For later on in the game, when you reach the end game, you are ready. So don't start like uh, throwing out your endo in random mods and when you reach the real deal when you need to max out your prime the multiplicative damage to faction you can't so you prior prioritize them uh, say for example corrupted greenier corpus and then you go for the infested the least because they are weak already and of course when prime the murmur comes out you need to max it out uh, very fast and one of the most amazing mods uh, lethal turret increase the fire rate and the multi-shot at the same time mama you need to have it 
You will start the game with Barrel Diffusion. You can max out to just 5 dots. And then you want to upgrade it to the Galvanized Diffusion. And that's what you're going to be using for the rest of your life in Warframe. Multishot and 30% multishot for 20 seconds. Stacks up to 4 times. Critical chance from Pistol Gambit. This is what you're starting with. And then you want to upgrade it to the Primed Pistol Gambit. 1000% a must have mod. Most of the weapons will be using it. And we're still with the critical chance with hydraulic crosshairs. 135% critical chance when aiming for 9 seconds on headshots. Very good one. Especially if you want to push beyond red crits and tier 4. And the galvanized crosshairs comes in play on headshot. 120% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds on headshot kill. 40% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds stacks up to 5 times. This is what you want to upgrade it afterwards to the galvanized baby. Animic agility to increase the fire rate at the cost of 15% damage is not so big, but you need to have it because like many weapons will benefit from it. So I'm giving you a lot of options here so you can become a pro at modding. And if you don't like that, you can always have the gunslinger for 72% fire rate without any uh, negative or downsides. Creeping bull's eye. 100% must have to increase critical chance with negative fire rate so you see now minus fire rate you can increase it with different mode you balance out your weapon now for the flat uh, elemental damage pathogen rounds uh, deep freeze uh, hated the charge and convulsion but the hated charge and the convulsion both of them have the primed version which is the primed heated charge and the primed convulsion two must have primed the primed convulsion they just recently added in the game i don't know when you're watching this video but this must have so get them as soon as possible now for the 60 60 elemental mods scorch heat and statue chance jolt for electricity and statue chance Frostbite for cold and statue chance, pistol pestilence for toxin and statue chance, accelerated isotope for radiation and fire rate came with whispers on the wall update. These mods are a must have. Sure shot is a 90% statue chance, a mod very awesome to have as well. And then you upgrade it to the galvanized shot, 80% statue chance on kill, 40% direct damage per statue type affecting the target for 14 seconds, stacks up to three times. This mod beyond a must have. Ogre Seeker for statue duration uh, increased by 90%. Uh, this mod is amazing, especially on uh, priming uh, weapons. Runius uh, Extension, uh, 8 uh, meters on beam length for beam weapons. Pistol Ammo Mutation converts primary ammo pickups to 50% of ammo pickups. And then you want to upgrade it to the Primate Pistol Ammo Mutation for 92% uh, conversion uh, to ammo. Lethal Momentum for Projectile Speed. Minus 60% weapon recoil from Steady Hand. Very good mod to have. And the Reflex Draw. On equip, minus 40% weapon recoil and minus 40% spread for 8 seconds. And now let's go for primary. And of course, we're going to do them in two like categories. Primary rifles and primary shotguns. Let's start. Starting with serration that you're probably starting with the game. 165% damage. And this one, you're going to be playing with it almost the rest of the game. And then you have the amalgam serration to increase 25% sprint speed if you want to. And then you want to have the heavy caliber. 165% damage and minus accuracy. Not a lot of weapons. They like to run this one with the serration. But there is a couple. And the same as the other weapons. The Bane modes you can start with. But they don't matter in the beginning. Then you want to have the Primate Bane of Corpus, the Primate Bane of Grunir, and then the Prime Bane of Corrupted and the Prime Bane of uh, uh, Infested. And later on in the game, you want to have the uh, Bane of the Murmur and then the Primate Bane of the Murmur. And Split Chamber you're going to start with for 90% multi-shot. Then you want to upgrade it to the Galvanized Chamber for 80% multi-shot. And on kill, 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. Very deadly end game mode. And of course, the Vigilante Armament is a must-have for 60% multi-shot and enhanced critical hits from primary weapons. Vigilante Fervor for fire rate and two times for bows. And Hand Termination, 30% chance to apply Slash on critical. This mod is really, really, really important as even a non-Slash weapon can become a Slash weapon. Point Strike for 150% critical chance. Argon Scope on Headshot, 135% critical chance when aiming for 9 seconds. And then you want to upgrade it to the Galvanized Scope on Headshot, 120% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds. On Headshot Kill, 40% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds, stacks up to 5 times. Critical Delay for 200% critical chance and minus 20 fire rate and 2 times for the bows. Vital Sense is 100% must have mod for 120% critical damage increase. 
speed trigger for 60% fire rate and 2 times for bow, shred 30% fire rate, 2 times for bows and 1.2 punch through, and you want to have the primed version as soon as you can, right? For 55% fire rate and 2.2 punch through. Vile acceleration as well, very important to have a 90% fire rate and 2 times for bows and negative 15% damage. For the flat elemental damage, Cryo rounds for cold, hellfire for heat, stormbringer for electricity, and vector clip for toxin. And you want to upgrade the Cryo rounds as soon as possible to the primed Cryo rounds. And for the 60-60, Malignant Force, 60% Toxin Statue Chance, High Voltage Electricity Statue Chance, Thermite Round for Heat and Statue Chance, Rhyme Rounds for Cold and Statue Chance, from Whispers in the Wall, Radiated Reload for Radiation and Reload Speed. Rifle Aptitude, you can start with it, but I highly recommend you just go for the Galvanized Aptitude for Statue Chance and On Kill, 40% Direct Hit dam Damage per Statue Type affecting the target for 20 seconds, stacks up to 2 times. Exilus slot, you can run rifle ammo mutation and then you want to upgrade it to the prime rifle ammo mutation, very important. Also having the Vigilante supplies or convert secondary ammo pickups to 30% of ammo pickups, also a 20% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons. You can run as well also a hush and having it is easy, you know, it's not a hard mod to get for spy missions. Stabilizer to reduce the weapon recoil. Firestorm for AUE weapons and then I highly recommend you upgrade it to the Primed Firestorm to improve the blast radius we of weapons uh, uh, with radial attacks 44% uh, blast radius and now let's go for the shotguns you'll start with point blank for 90% damage and then you want to upgrade it to the Primed point blank for 165% damage when you get to the advanced game and of course the multiplicative modes, cleanse Grenier, cleanse Corpus, cleanse Infested, and cleanse the Murmur for Whispers in the Wall. Now, you don't need to have them when you start the game, you want to have the Primate Cleanse Corpus, the Primate Cleanse Grenier, and the Primate Cleanse Corrupted. I have the Primate Cleanse Infested, but I didn't invest on it any more, uh, any Indo. It, it's like, it's not necessary really. And these mods, you see them already on the rifles because they fit rifles and shotgun. Vigilante Arments Multi-Shot, Vigilante Fervor uh, for fire rate and hand termination to make any weapon even without slash uh, to actually apply slash on critical hits. Hell's Chamber for 120% multi-shot and then you want to run the Galvanized Hell for the end game. 110 multi-shot, on kill 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds, stacks up to 4 times. Blender, uh, Blender Boost for 90% uh, critical chance. Critical Declaration is a must, must, must have for 200% critical chance and minus 20% fire rate. This mod actually can make many shotguns reach the uh, tier 4 uh, red crits. Ravage is a must have mod for critical damage, 60% for the normal one, and then you want to have the primed one for 110% critical damage. Fail Momentum, 90% fire rate and minus 15% damage. Shotgun Barrage to increase 90% fire rate, a very an amazing and most important uh, mod to have for fire rate. If you want, you can run the Amalgam uh, Shotgun Barrage for 85% fire rate and 45% revive speed if you want to play uh, support. But run the Shotgun Barrage, please. And now for the uh, flat uh, elemental uh, damage, uh, heat uh, for uh, coat, uh, charged shell for electricity, contagious spread uh, and shielding grasp for cold. Now, if you want, of course, not you want, if you want, you need to have it, of course, the uh, Chill here, primal chill, and you want to have the uh, primal chilling grasp right here. These two pr primal uh, mods, you need to have them. They're gonna be very amazing and powerful in a lot of your builds. And now for the 6060 uh, mods, uh, Shell Shock, Electricity, Statue Chance, uh, Frigid Blast for Cold and Statue Chance, uh, Shattering Inferno for Heat and Statue Chance, uh, Toxic Barrage for Toxic and Statue Chance, uh, and now we have the Shielding Reload for Cold and Reload Speed, and Blaze for Damage and Heat. Blaze, one of the most amazing uh, shotgun mods. And now for the shotgun savvy, you're gonna start the game with this one and then later on you're going to start uh, using the galvanized savvy for the rest uh, of your time in Warframe. Now having the vigilante supplies for the exilus, uh, convert secondary ammo pickups and enhance uh, critical hits from primary weapon is very very good to have on shotguns. You need to have the primary shotgun ammo mutation, I didn't invest on it yet as I didn't desperately need it, but it's good to have it right there. Another amazing uh, Exilus slot, a Fatal Acceleration for 40% projectile speed for starting and then you want to upgrade it to the Galvanized Acceleration. Tactical Pump is really another amazing mod you want to have for your shotguns for 100% reload speed. And if you don't have the primed one, of course you can run the normal one, the 60% reload speed. Another amazing mod that you need to have is the Shrapnel Shot on kill, 99% critical damage when aiming for 9 seconds. 
Sinister Bridge is a very good Exilus slot at 12 meters beam length for beam shotgun weapons. And mamma mia, soft hands. This one I love it on my heck and my shotguns. Minus 40% weapon recoil and minus 40% spread for 8 seconds. What this one do exactly when a shotgun throw a lot of bullets, it reduces the, the spread to become almost uh, one bullet to go to the enemy. And your question now would be, where we get the mods? You didn't show us, Hank. Because if I did, it would take four hours. So, here you go. You go to Google. Everyone have Google. You type here the name of the mod and you add Warframe to it. For example, Flow Warframe. Flow, you click in here. Warframe Wiki. Don't go to any other website, okay? Now, first thing you want to learn is if it's a tradable. Means you can take it from other players or your friend. And then you want to check the incompatible means there is Arcon Flow and Prime the Flow, okay? And the Flow, uh, Flow the Flow means it's crashed with bad stats. Okay, you scroll all the way down, you will find where this mod drops exactly. Survival, the circuit, and so on. And now we want we don't see the primed flow dropping anywhere. So we go here and we click on primed flow. Okay, it doesn't drop, means it comes from somewhere. Okay, now this mod can be purchased and ranked from Baruki Tier. Baruki Tier comes every two weeks on Friday for 110,000 credits and 350 or you can buy it from other players in warframe.market simple as that and by this we come to an end to our video i really hope this video helps you out and i want to say guys thank you so much for all your amazing uh, support to the channel and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the like sub and join our discord the link on description and guys if i forget any mod let me know in the comments below so if tunnels come in the future they can check it out peace and love and see you guys next time Oh.